In this video, we're going to take a look at the new padding feature in content blocks, components, and other objects. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make YouTube videos about e-learning, more specifically on Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, by all means, like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with your e-learning buddies. Today we're going to look at a new feature that became available with the release of Adobe Captivate 12.4, and that's the addition of being able to have a lot more control over the spacing between objects and within objects as well. Specifically, we're talking about padding, and you can adjust the padding within your content blocks, within the actual components themselves, and of course, there's a few other objects inside Adobe Captivate where you can adjust those padding elements yourself. So let's take a look at it today and see what we can do with an existing project that doesn't really have that padding applied yet. Okay, first of all, I should point out that I'm using a pre-release version of Adobe Captivate 12.4. By the time you're watching this video, the official version of 12.4 should have come out. And I just want to say that there might be some slight differences between how the software I'm using is behaving versus what you will get. But I think overall, it should be very similar here. So the concept of padding isn't new. We've had some control over padding, but it's kind of like one slider fits all, whereas now we have a lot more control. Starting with, of course, the block level, we can obviously have the same controls that we've had before, where we choose the width of the content, the padding left and right and above and below. And certainly we can auto fit height. And there's this new auto layout feature, which I'll explain a little bit in a few moments. Now I can select my card, which is sort of the next object within this block of content, right? And we can get into alignment and spacing for that. Now we can choose either to uniformly space across all of our sides of the object here. So if I wanted to increase this number from 10 pixels to let's say 25 pixels, I can do that. And it's going to increase all sides, top, bottom, left, right. Now you do have the ability to switch to individual spacing on different slides where I can manually type in the numbers that I wish to have. So there might be a circumstance where I would have maybe the text more towards one side or the other, or maybe I just want to ensure that there's extra space on one side for one reason or another. The other thing that we can do and this is a new feature, is that you notice as you hover over the edges of your various objects and components, you can actually adjust these things manually, just using your mouse. So I can select the bottom edge of this card here, and rather than typing in a number, I can just adjust this and sort of eyeball it, decide when I think that's enough. I like around 50 there, and if you're, you know, OCD uh, like me, you could just type in the number to override that. But maybe you want to keep the other sides 25, 25, and 25. And of course, we can select the individual components, the title for this particular block, go into alignment and spacing here. And again, we have the same controls. So in this example here, we can adjust the padding uniformly across all sides here. Let's say I wanted to make it 40 pixels, and that's going to ensure that any other objects are at least 40 pixels away from my title here. Similarly, we can do the same thing here. Let's in this case here, we'll, we'll select the edge and I will increase the size of that till I'm happy with it. Let's say I want lots of white space, or in this case here, purple space. You know, and now of course I can look at that and see, well, I've got 75 pixels over here and I can do the same on the left side. One of the things you might want to do is have more space between individual objects here. So you certainly can select an object and increase the space just to give you more room at the bottom here. And of course, this applies to all sorts of objects as well. So for example, down here, I've got an image grid and we can, of course, 
select the image itself. Let's say I want a little bit more space from the edge of my cards here. And we can do the same thing. We can do uniform spacing, add some extra space around these images. We don't want them to take up too much space around in the card itself. We want that white space in this case here. That really helps out a lot. Now this auto layout feature, this is new. If you enable this, the padding in all directions changes proportionally across devices. So if I've got this selected, right now the padding is 50 pixels. However, on a tablet, it's gonna maintain that amount, but it's not 50 pixels, it's a percentage. So it's 20 pixels in this case, and on mobile, it's 11 pixels. So it's going to adjust proportional to the device size itself. So again, you have a little bit better control. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.